Hey, welcome to the Sort of Okay About Horses with Buck and Kyle. And Aubrey. And our co-host, co Aubrey, who uh, has made her first appearance to the cameras and the stage. I see a big future for her because she actually is a little uh, smarter and much better looking than her father. And she already knows more than you do. <laughs> so that's good. That's not saying much. And uh, what you can do is one eye. She's a, we have the perfect example for the future here because there's nothing like having a kid to turn your life completely upside down and make it absolutely uh, bring it all into a good measure of worthwhileness, I guess. It only took me uh, not even a day to turn my life literally upside down. <laughs> and um, anyway, now I look like the rest of the people I get beat up in this sport. Yeah, but, uh, Buck took a header after a sleepless night decided to go get on a horse and it tossed him. I'm sure that owner's going to compensate him double. I was trying to teach my horse to ride a bicycle. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't work? No, it did. That's why I'm trying to water. It, it was awesome. <laughs> it, and now he jumped the bicycle. That's I think what, we That was our problem. I think we teach him to ride the bicycle. You're supposed to actually stay on top of him, not get in between the bike and the uh, horse. You get better ratings if you fall off. Oh, really? Yeah. God, I'm yeah. set then. That's why I got two hours of money here. <laughs> Come on, Aubrey. You need some money because uh, you need a college fund, private school, private school. You don't want to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you went to private school, didn't you? Yeah, but I didn't go to college. <laughs> your, your, your wife did, though. I hope so. She went to South Carolina. Oh, that's almost not like going to college, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Isn't it? Pretty girls. What is that, Gamecocks? Yeah, Gamecocks. Gamecocks? <laughs> <laughs> nice shoes, folks. Right. All right, good with. Look at that. I told you she wouldn't cry for me. I know. Yeah. She's like, Daddy can't Good provide job. me what I want right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're back. We've lost our co-host co because uh, she apparently needed to go to the bathroom. And I don't know. The kid cannot hold it. A lot like her dad. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. But I was actually proud of her. Remember to speak up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was proud of her before you. Um... Anyway, so we're going to go over a couple of things. Uh, Red Hills was last weekend. Uh, we're going to talk about talk about that and, and how that all worked out. And um, I wasn't there. Buck went up and, and ran there and was a major, left, left major success. You was, that's right. I you left, left early. Exactly. I was having a baby. He um, got scared and ran out on the no, last day. I did the whole cross country. Yeah. You were scared of show jumping. I, and I rode, four, I rode four horses. I didn't, I didn't know what to do with myself. It was awesome. Uh, but the... Uh, no, I had, I had uh, four really good rides on the cross country. Um, I have a really nice horse called Approved Power. Um, Amy and Peter Johnny's uh, thoroughbred horse. That is, um, that is just, a nice horse. It's I've a really nice, really nice horse. horse. And i um, really excited about him. Yeah. Um, and so he's going to a two star still, but he's, um, he's a superstar and went around there like amazing. Um, very proud of him. Um, and then uh, Riviera. Was going well in the one star, and uh, my wife's horse. I messed up. Well, you should, you know, we better not talk about that. Fair enough. Let's just move on. You know, it would be nice if she would have stepped up this? and held it out until like Monday. She disrupted your whole damn weekend. It would have been nice if she had actually ridden the horse before. It's you know, like inconsiderate wives and owners is what I'd say. Exactly. And I case. get the wife and owner. <sighs> and Unbelievable. Trust me, getting a forty-eight on the flat. Yeah, I heard about that one. <laughs> what so are you I'm going to Red Hills for? Are you, that's eight points worse than you did last time. I know, I know, but I was just so focused on you, honey. That's it. You, know? you were so good at lying. And so... Uh, so how was it? How was Red Hills? New designer, course laid out differently. Yeah, I mean, how it's... It? Yeah, but they try. I mean, they try so hard. It's an event that we, we you know, as riders, we all want to get behind it. The ground's just not good. Yeah. The ground's terrible. It's yeah. just, I mean, it's just... Terrible. The show jumping, the I mean, the the footing for the dressage arena was unacceptable. I mean, they had to move the the dressage because it was punching through so deep. Oh really? Um, you know, the show jumping, um, uh, yeah, the, the track wasn't very good. The ground was shifty, and the cross country. Um, I thought they did a, a definitely a, the the flow was way better. They opened it up. That was all great. You know, Mike. Heather Smith is a genius at designing courses, and you heard it, it here. It was uh, that was great. I, you know, I think um, 
you know, it, it was probably great for David to learn from him and watch him and, you know, see what he was doing to open up the, the distances and make the distances really good and, and not crazy, but forward and nice. Um, the, the jumps, I thought, were, you know, certainly appropriate for the, for the terrain and the, the closeness of everything. It's, you know, I think if you, if you build it and it looks like it's an advanced, it's going to be hard. And yeah. if you walk in and it looks like a preliminary, it has plenty of hard enough. So, um, you know, I think they're, they're on the right track there. Um, you know, it's a great event. Um, we just got to somehow revive it a little bit, and I think that's what they're trying to do. I mean, I took a break there well, we this year, you. but... Yeah, I mean, I last year was a hard year for me there, obviously. I lost a horse that I was hoping to go to the Olympics on this year, and it had been a horse I'd been developing for a few years, and it just... I've been to Red Hills every year since it started, so 17 years, I think, and I just couldn't... I just couldn't bring myself to, Yeah, it started... I can't remember when, but I remember running my wife's... The horse she took to Rolex, it, it did its second or third prelim there with me. You get in um, trouble for your dress, I suppose. Oh, no, I, I fell off on cross country on it. <laughs> they had to cancel. They had tornadoes coming through. We left there, got home. Everything was like, we got home. Everything was mud and wet because they, they canceled and they were like, everybody yeah, has to leave the site. We got home. It was beautiful weather like this here, two hours away. And everybody home was like, what's going? Why are you guys back? <laughs> but yeah, no, my dressage wasn't good. But my And the rest of the day, actually, I'd finished. The rest of them were, were quite good. And that was probably the best horse I was riding. And I, it went to a tricaner and took a slip in front of it. And I was like, it's going down. And I took a step off and it landed on his feet. And I was like, always trust the horse when they're like that. Yeah, exactly. But oh, well. yeah, so I, so I had to take a, moral, I had to take a year off. I moral of the story, go. don't ride the white horse. That's right. There's a no win situation there. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was uh, yeah horrible last year. And, uh, Anyways, we don't want to year. dwell on we're that. We're not going to dwell so. on that. Now we're on to we're on, on to Carolina. bigger and better things. Uh, yeah, Car well, yeah, no, we're going to talk about uh, the hundred thousand that they're going to have at the Jockey Club this year. They're going to they just announced that they're coming out with a hundred thousand dollars for the for the CIC three star, CCI two star, and CCI one star at the Jockey Club. Now, I'm really excited about it because it's ten minutes from my house. I love the terrain. Um, I'm excited to see what they do with it and develop it. I understand uh, Mike Ethington Smith is doing the three star course, which I think is absolutely great. And then I, they've got Clayton uh, Fredericks doing the one star and two star course. Be interested to see what he brings to the table because so far all I've written of his is courses that he's sort of patched together from someone else's design. So I hope he gets creative, but I hope he doesn't get too creative. It's, you know, be, I don't know how much designing he's done inter internationally. Obviously, is riding and selling has been a big focus for him so and, and training you and training would be a, <laughs> need to be a big focus yeah he apparently hasn't spent enough time <laughs> doing that <laughs> the uh yeah the, that's exciting i mean it's great that we're getting this prize money into our sport and uh i hope i win yeah, yeah I, I mean really, it, it's going to ruin the thanksgiving yeah. and it could potentially make the whole thanksgiving worthwhile so i hope everybody has a good thanksgiving stays home eats lots of turkey yeah. Yep. And I, uh, just leave the event to me. The diet will start. The diet that I go on through every spring and every fall will will end at that event, and it will be turkey, ham, everything, all over the place. And if anybody's got any advice on, you know, my sort of selling point to all the people that work for me all year long is <laughs> November and December. Like that is like it's like when you're a school teacher. There's three good things about it: June, July, and August. Yeah. Right. Like. The thing about being at Bucks is November, December. It's over, yeah. I'm gonna sell that now. And now I, it's December. You might want to bring in. You might want to bring in a different crew for those for that event. How's that for an advice? The yeah. every, everything else can stay off. Yeah, all the other crew. horses can go off. Yeah. And then if they want it, they can show up. We, we, we need we need a bit more work on that one. But anyway, it's would you like awesome. to tell everybody what your outfit's gonna be for this weekend, Kyle? As the loser from uh, from the first show that we did, uh, we were we were gonna swap horses. But as we're doing more of these shows, it's gonna be a little difficult to swap horses. My owners don't want Buck on my horses. They specifically called me and told me that. Now keep in mind that I own my horses pretty much. So his wife says does. everything. <laughs> so <laughs> you can ride her horse. Yeah, I'll um, talk to the kids. They'll let me. It was a little, so we just, we couldn't quite figure out how to map it out. I have no problem letting Buck ride my horses, but it was about trying to figure out if we're going to do like 12 of these a, a year, it's a lot of sort of swapping around, getting horses to places and that sort of thing. I'm happy to, to get on one of Buck's horses 
and withdraw at the first fence. But he would never have any idea that a horse could be so nice. <laughs> you don't um, have to pick it up. You don't have to do anything. You just go there, shut so your eyes. You're absolutely go. right. I'll have yeah. no idea. The best horse I've got right now, I have no idea how to ride because it's just too nice. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to specifically design an outfit. I can't believe that we're going to do this. And the loser has to wear the outfit at the next show. So I'm somehow the at loser. the biggest show the probably for the year, I have to wear, or for the first of the year anyways, I have to wear the loser outfit, which we are yet to design. And we'll it have, is live streamed uh -huh. all over the world. I think polka dots, stars, nothing against those people that I like, like the, stars and polka dots. I like the pom-pom. Definitely a pom-pom yeah. on the hat because... Yeah. God knows I cannot stand that. And we'll have some unique colors and stuff. And we'll each have an outfit. But whenever there's a loser, that person has to wear the, the outfit at the next, I guess, decent show that we're, that we're going to. Not, not to take anything away the other ones, but if I have to wear it at Carolina, <laughs> then he's got to wear it somewhere where, people, where it's going to matter. Where it's going to shame him a little bit. So I won the, uh, sorry, Buck won the first one. So he's, I'm having to wear that there. I haven't, we haven't determined yet whether I have to wear it on all four horses that I'm riding there, or well, whether... Let's take a vote right now. Yes, <laughs> that would be yes. So it's, it's, it's a 50-50 yeah. vote, so yeah. this one says maybe not, <laughs> um, but we'll let you know on our Facebook page, which there will be at the bottom of the screen right now, our Facebook page, and that way you can go there and check it out, right there. Yeah. Um, I think it's backwards. Flip that around. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, and then you can check it out as to what the decision is. And I guess I'll feel different about it when he's having to wear the colors, which will be at the next show, because I won Red Hills thanks to Clayton Fredericks, actually. Go figure. Put him on the team, Clayton. <laughs> exactly. I got your back, Clayton. You. Thank you. Yeah. You don't need to do any more. That was all I needed out of you this year. He's putting you on his team. Yeah. I'm just saying. We had, uh, I mean, it was my... My group did pretty well. In the first two days, I was pretty excited. Uh, then, Dasha, you kind of let me down there in the show jumping on my horse, and uh, you're going to have to step that up a little bit because I'm not putting you on my team this next time till you get that sorted out, okay? That's all I'm saying. All right, so on to Carolina. I think that we should discuss a couple of the uh, interesting things about it, such as that the fact that they've spread $75,000 amongst the, amongst the competition. They have free breakfast every day for the owners and riders, so if you want to be an owner... In one of my syndicates, call me because you can get free breakfast all next week. That's my deal that I'm offering you. There you go. And, and, to, the, and to the one person that actually approached me about being a syndicate owner, I really apologize. I will get you all the information. I'm just absolutely useless at this. And the lucky thing is, he's going to lose all these bets, so I'll be riding the horses for you. <laughs> um, they, no, but they've done a great job. They've, I, I've awesome. not been in years, but my wife was going through it last night all the stuff like they're really going out of their way to make it into a special event you will be impressed i will guarantee you that um the committee there the the <clears throat> the town they've brought all the locals they've really made a community festival out of it mm -hmm. um jane murray bobby costello will faudry um <clears throat> mark donovan yeah. um it's uh done for the right reasons um and it's done really 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 well and um, it is certainly a destination event now, um, and uh, we're all looking forward to it. I know um, Ian Stark is now doing the course, and I've heard from multiple sources that it's very, very big, um, and um, hopefully it's not too tricky. <laughs> exactly. Well, I heard they didn't get the coffin done in time. They decided the footing wasn't right on that, so it's a, it's a moderate coffin rather than the overwhelming one that he was planning on putting there or something, which I was not okay. disappointed to hear that. I heard, and I heard it was long, the course. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that's, that's good. I mean, Might have been going long enough anyways. This time yeah. of year, they're, they're pretty ready. They're ready to go. Um, so I'm excited about it. I haven't been in a couple of years, but I've always, and that was one of those things. It always improved. Every time I went, the next time I went back, I was always like, wow, they've really you know, stepped this up, and it seems like they've gone even We further. can have a side bet if you don't think it's the best event in the country. I'll be shocked. I mean, it's, it, yeah. it, it's awesome. I mean, All right. well, it's, I'm excited it's awesome, about and uh, they take care of the footing. They take care of the riders. They take care of the owners. Um, it's, it's great. Yeah. You know? Now, if I fall off. Uh, I hate that. That event. damn course it's designer. Worse, it's all Ian's fault. Exactly. <laughs> well, God, I wrote it perfectly. They got. Uh, they certainly got the entries. I mean, everybody and their mother and brother are showing up. Um, I don't know how many they've got in there, but the CIC two star, one star, and three star are overwhelmingly entered, and that made a bit of a problem for us because as we are incredibly organized, we got our sheets to pick our team <laughs> about five minutes before this show started. But we're so smart that. Uh, 
we managed to do it, and my team is much better than his. Um, is there anybody you wanted to throw out there? There's a couple I've got. I mean, I've, I've got the sure thing. I mean, if there was a sure thing this weekend, it's these picks right here. Okay, well, I'm not talking about the picks. I'm talking about the others, the alternates. I had Matt Brown I wanted to talk about a little bit just because he's moved out here from California. He's really made a commitment to getting to the next level. He's got a great string of horses. I was going to put him on the team, but I just, you know, I haven't got enough experience watching him go. He rides great. Results are there. But I w was trying to make sure that I got just maybe the numbers I knew I could get. You think maybe get. now that every time you sort of mention somebody, maybe it's a curse? Because, like, I watched somebody you were mentioning last time <laughs> hit the turf last weekend. So She's on my list here, too. Please don't ever mention my name. Da you know? I said Daisy Trey would be really exciting to watch on cross country, and apparently she was. It, she tried to it, put a one and a two, and that didn't work out very well. It was, it was I can't exciting. count, but Thankfully she's I can okay. certainly get to two. And if I see a two this long, I'm going on three. Hey, look, we got somebody smarter than you here. <laughs> that doesn't take much. I'm here. Um, what else? There was uh, there was another one here that I was going to mention, but I can't find it. I'm really only worried about my team. Okay, let's you talk know, about your team and get this over with. Get, you know, like quit uh, boring the people. All right. I mean, this is uh, this is slam dunk. Okay. They're all you all name four your people person. are actually on have been on my team or are always on my team and so okay. I stick with stick through people stick through or stick with my teammates through thick and thin. All right, well you go so, with it. All right. Lynn Samansky, one star. Lynn uh, Samansky wants her which horse? She only have one horse? I'm hoping it's an expensive one because I can't say its name. His Sh name's Bob. Sh 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 Sherezo di Nodo. <laughs> Good job, yeah, Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> Lynn, I love you. I'm pulling for you. I don't know what your horse's name is. Uh, All right. Well, my one, I'll go with. one. My one star pick, because the one stars are always hard to pick because because there's so many horses that you don't know all of them. But I'm going to go with uh, with Butch Cassidy and uh, Will Coleman. I've got him down here as Willie uh, because I think he's a, he's a very good rider. He always sits on nice horses, and I, you know, I, I think that one actually did really well at Bromont last year. I had a, I had an advisor telling me that it was um, it was a good one to pick, so don't let me down. All right, all right. Um, you could go with your two star. Okay, pick. I'm gonna go with my two star pick. I picked uh, Doug Payne on Lysander. 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 Yeah. All right. Um, and not, I don't actually, I've seen the horse a little bit, but I just think Doug as well, he rides very good horses, he rides really well, and I don't think he's one to just sort of go there, especially on one that he's had for a while, and just sort of putts around. So don't let me, I've got the tallest team. Anyways, if we, if we do pick up back, that is, we might I think do well. that horse is about the tallest horse in the event. If oh, it is one, that think, one, yeah, yeah it's like huge. It's a, it's a big horse. So. Yeah, it's nice. Um, way to go, Doug. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. Sorry, Doug. Um, I mean, if there's not a sure thing in my two-star pick, I don't know what is. At uh, Philip Dutton with Fernhill Cudillon. Did he, he not the two-star? Was he not like the four-star champion last year? All right, like, this on is. That one? I didn't see that one in there. Maybe they're supposed to. Maybe he's doing the course twice. Uh, <laughs> okay. So Philip, way yeah, to downgrade yeah, to give him a chance. Yeah, I exactly. cannot believe I missed that one. You better not lay up on this it one. Probably buddy. Yeah. He probably doesn't. probably doesn't to walk. Most of those advanced horses are going to forget seen it? that. It's like it's yeah, like a no, it's, it's a nice. pony that goes great around a four star. Yeah, I mean it's a it does a canter walk. I'll bet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then for the three star, I had two choices. I was trying to flop back and forth with. So it, instead, I well, I should three. So instead, I went with one and put the other one as my alternate. Um, and I went with Colleen on covert rights for my team, and then Allison on Arthur as the alternate because. Covert Rights has been absolutely doing unbelievable all year. Co Colleen is desperately trying to prove that she is the team member that they need to take. And um, I think she's just going to go and do the same thing here that she's been doing for quite a while now and try and win the whole thing. And then Allison, I mean, I think that horse looked quite good in Wellington. And, uh, I'm, you know, I'm so happy to see him back. And I think that's always a good horse. So, Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's cool to see, you know, how much time and effort she's put in to trying to get him back and apparently it's going well so good luck to you and your picks um i have uh my new hero kim severson uh fern here fearless in the three star did you see her at the hammocks i did at uh 
I did. Pine top? Hands off the reins. I mean, and, the yeah. problem, no hands. I mean, this is too easy. We, why use reins? Yeah. yeah. I actually say, I will say that inspired me. It made me feel much better about my rides there because I thought mine were kind of rough. And I, and I watched the video and I'm like, wow, they actually were pretty good. And I saw that and I was like, wow, I think I just would have pulled up right then. I, that was impressive. I said to Kim, she's just finishing, and I was going up to the start on one of my green ones. And I said to Kim, I said, how was it? She said, you really spooked at the fourth fence. That's all she said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I sent her a text and I said, spooked, huh? Maybe we should put up the picture here at this point, yeah. okay? So you can see this, because it's pretty impressive. I will say I have a picture from Pine Top where I had a horse do the same thing, drop. I didn't buy the picture, but the same thing happened where I ended up like this over top, but I didn't do anywhere near as well as she did. And I pulled up two fences later. And like her legs like in the right place. Yeah. And, I mean, like she knows I something look, about riding. Yeah, she certainly yeah. does. So well, that's I mean, a good pick. So here's your other a friend one. friend too, so come on, Kim. And, uh, and then uh, Caroline Martin. Center stage. She's uh, she got the grant to go to uh, Bramo. Is that the like 25 yeah. class? Yep. Um, Connor is a super super nice horse. He's super in all three phases. He's fast. He's very very honest. He doesn't hit a, hit the rails. He does a good dress size test, and um, we had a good school today. And I think we got all our mistakes out of the way. Oh, good. Well, so, that uh, is a good choice. But I'm proud of Caroline and uh, this horse and I. I think yeah. that they could be, uh, I mean, they're definitely going to be better than your picks, eh? No, I don't think so. I think we've yeah. got this wrapped up. I was going to, I was thinking about taking Celine on Foxwood High because this is the first uh, selection trial for the Canadians for the Olympics, and I think Celine is putting it together. She did last weekend at Red Hills, and I think she's going to continue to push and drive towards again, making sure that there's, they will, they do not leave her off for the Olympics. And so I think it's going to be, you know, a good weekend for her and a big weekend for her, but. She disappointed me at that first one, Selena, and, I, and you know what? I haven't forgiven you yet. I'm not putting you on until you do this a couple of times, all right? All right. Well, tune in for our next show, and thanks for, thanks for all the fan mail and stuff. We're really excited to have you guys actually liking this. Thanks, guys.